G'day viewers, we're back in the bush chasing four wheel drives, but we've got something a little bit different for you. This is motorsport with a twist. I call it the four wheel drive TV Talarook Challenge. Like a tsunami. Next minute, bang. I'm going to floor it and hope for the best. I'm Simon Christie and this is Life Off-Road. Good morning gentlemen and welcome to the 4 Drive TV Talarook Challenge. We have got a killer of a day planned for you. Property here has been used before for winch challenges and that type of thing so when Simon needed somewhere to run a small event, thought no problem, we'd be happy to have you guys along. We set up four tracks, a little bit easier than the average winch challenge tracks that we do, but they'll put these cars to the test. We haven't been able to run the winch challenges this year with coronavirus, so the opportunity popped up with Simon to run this sponsor challenge. Yeah, we've set the stages to suit the cars, it should be a great day. Now, we are racing seriously today, and there is a trophy. We've got the inaugural four-wheel drive TV X Holden steering wheel trophy for the winner to take and to hold until the next Four Drive TV challenge. I want to win it. I do want to win it. My secret weapon is this right foot because the faster you go, the better it's going to be. <laughs> I know the guys from Road Safe. Hopefully, they're the first ones we knock off. At this stage, we know that we've decked out with some quality products, and I suppose at the end of the day, it'll test us. Hopefully, it's not the driver that lets us down. So guys, this is a serious competition. There will, under no circumstances, be any cheating. I've got a couple of secret weapons. One is me, <laughs> one is the tyres, <laughs> and I've got some nice lolly snakes in there as well, just to give you a bit of sugar burst. <laughs> I just go for it. Today, I already want to beat exclusive tyres. If I don't beat him, well then, I'd have to switch tyres to something else. He always talks up his tyres. Now's a good opportunity to see if they really are as good as he makes them out to be. We don't really have a name for him yet, but we have a gentleman here in a pace car that will be setting the pace that we expect you guys to keep. Mr. Driver, tell us about today. Have you got nothing to say? All right, everybody, no delay. Let's get the four drive TV Talarook challenge underway. Let's get some wheels on rocks and some scores on the board. This is special stage one. So you'll come and enter through here. So you can pick which entry you want if you'd like to get a bonus score and reduce your time. Straight up through here, over these rocks and between the trees. Loop around the tree, then back over this rock face here and between the two cones is your exit point. Once you're down on the flat ground, that is the end of the course. Whoever gets the left glove is the first car up. Oh, winner! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! I did have a crack at the middle one. It was a little bit harder than I expected. Back it up, back it up. You don't know, more punch. You're going to have to launch it up. Go for it, go for it. I still got there, but it puts me behind. Even though I've got a 20 second advantage for trying this harder track, I lost it all in getting up. <laughs> Two minutes 30, not such a good time, but he does get 20 seconds off for having a crack at the bonus line. Let's see how the others go. Driver ready. So you can see Pete go up there, a bit slippery. So I'm gonna take a different line and see if I can get to the top a bit quicker. Something's not wrong. No, the rear's not turning. Did the rear lock all right? It didn't engage. Grant had troubles with four wheel drive, had problems with his rear diff lock, and I reckon his tires aren't low enough. Let's see how the third car goes. We've got Mark coming in from Cooper Tyres. I knew I had to be fast in that stage. I was taking the shortest, easiest track. The other guys had tried a little bit coming up the big rocks. When I took off, I knew I had to gun it, go hard, get across, and then come fast across the top of the rocks. That was awesome. <laughs> I don't know about the car, but <laughs> a few bangs, but it was all good. The road safe Duke went up first and he took the hardest route and I said I'm not going that way. So I took the easiest route, going around there, came back and just you know, clipped the back bumper and got a little bit of a damage there, but we can fix that. Let's get some scores on the scoreboard. 
So fastest was the race car at 1.6 by the time time was adjusted. 1.6 seconds. In last place, with a bonus 20 points, is the road safe car. And then we've got Piranha Off-Road. The VRS Ride Pro car is 60 points. Nice. Stage winner is Cooper Tyres with 80 points. Pete, got some points to make up there. Hey, <laughs> All right, let's head for stage two. Special stage two guys, let's take a quick look at it. Start and finish box is right there where our pace car mystery driver is. Out of the start box, turning sharply down the track. And following the track down the hill. And you go into that bunted section across the water obstacle where you will do hopefully a 2.3 point turn. You're then gonna come back up this side. You've got a log stump there and lots of logs and debris in here. Up through here nice and easy. Once you pass the trees, the clock stops. You guys are doing the whole course in reverse. I have a time saving plan, just we've got to whisper it. Doing it in reverse, a lot of trees around, a couple of stumps. I just hope I don't get into one of the trees, that's all. Two, one, go! Three point turn, sometimes called a 16 point turn. Having a good run, had a few problems down at the bottom turning, but coming up the hill, no problem. Had a bit of speed, heading towards the finish line. As you finish, do a right turn, next minute, bang. Okay, Grant. 20 second penalty for breaking the bunting. Hopefully once I get on the track I'll be okay, just got to make sure I don't hit anything on the way. Having to reverse, a little bit different as well, but you handle that one a lot better than that I thought. bumper there but did all right. A bit nervous about this one, especially down the bottom trying to turn around. I've had a look at what the other guys have done. I've got a plan. It's about spinning around down the bottom end where I'm going to catch the time back. Turning around, you really couldn't see what was behind the vehicle. Got caught coming up, went off the track a little bit, had to get back online to keep the speed up. One stump and one tree. A five second bonus for hitting trees. Peter's in the car park and he's already hitting trees. Three, two, one, go. It already started. I did not. It's not true. I'm not the best backer in the world to start with. Backing down into four-wheel drive in the competition sort of state is going a little bit unnerving. Simon calling and the pressures and everything's going fast. Except me, I didn't go fast. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're off the track there, I saw you were going for the wrong route up. Pressure! I can't have pressure! <laughs> Seems to be an issue with zero. The easy way to fix everything. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Is just to fix the zeros at special stage two, please, Troy. Coming in last place, we have a tie. Well, a tie on tie. those times. Yep. A tie on those times for last place between the VRS Ride Pro car. Oh. And the Road Safe car. So a tie is split between 20 and 40 is 60, so 30 each. 
Cooper Tyres comes in second Whoa. with Piranha off road getting the lead. Whoa. Oh, Rob. All right, guys, let's head for some lunch and then we're on to stage three and four. Welcome to stage three. This is a ripper little stage. Straight out over these moguls, power up through the off camber section here, down through the chicane, hooking it around through here. Watch out for the stump right here. And you got a straight run up into the rocks. To finish back in the start finish box. Race order. What glove are we looking for? <laughs> Left. <laughs> Winner. The track looks pretty simple. <laughs> What's coming next? For this one, guys, you are going to be holding a cup of water. And you will lose points for how much water is missing when you get back. <laughs> oh. There you go. Two, one, go. Stage three, first one up. The trick was to try and not spill too much. You anyway, had to get some speed up. I did drop a bit of water. The other thing was trying to control the steering wheel and keeping momentum with one hand. <laughs> oh, jeez! <geez. laughs> I reckon that's about two centimetres. Nice effort. Oh, he's got this and he's also got a bottle of road safe water there. Go! I thought I'd put a towel on my lap, I'll do the drive. While I spill, I'll top up with my water bottle. It's going two hands. What's going on? Simon caught me and docked me more points. I finished, I finished. There Look at that, done. look. Hardly he anything. He has done a great oh. job. <laughs> He's lost a bit of water though. Uh, you know, really well. I think it's really good that people are doing this honestly. We got him on camera, so we got him. A protest, I need to see a marshal. I gave him back a full cup. Have a look at Mr. Waterproof here. Come prepared. Go. Jeez. Decided to slow and steady, didn't want to lose too many penalty points. There's a bit of dodgy stuff going on there. Some of the guys came out of the full cup of water. Couldn't quite work that one out, but leave that to the judges. Didn't lose too much water, which was great because it left my seat dry for the trip home. Running down his arm. Yeah, so the water spill it out. <laughs> Not bad. I reckon we'll knock off 10 seconds. There you go. That one. Go! I was spilling a bit of water and so when you're trying to turn the steering wheel, the steering wheel gets all slippery. And then you lose control of the car. To compensate for that, I actually cheated. I took a mouthful of water to take the water out of the cup. Then I finished the course, put the water back in the cup. Looks like he's done all right. Oh, not bad. Been running inside the car, have a look at that. I'm only going to take off five seconds. Just waiting for the scores to come in. It's very tense here. We're here with Troy from RoadSafe. What are our scores? Troy, the honest representative of RoadSafe. <laughs> right, so in last place, consistently, at <laughs> a minute 39, we have Peter from RoadSafe. I'm robbed. I was robbed. <laughs> then we've got the VRS Ride Pro car at a minute 13. Piranha off-road, coming at one minute and nine seconds. Ooh! And then a minute two for the Cooper Tyres car. Two firsts and a second. Cooper Tyres out there in front. We've got one more stage to go. Plenty of points still to be gained. It's anybody's game at this stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Let's head for stage four. The ultimate challenge. Our longest stage. Let's go and do it. You didn't read off those numbers as they were. I did. What's these ones then? That's the time that you were done, and then your penalty, and then your character time. 
didn't it? Cheat, you would have won. <laughs> 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 Okay, welcome to the final stage of the day. This is our start finish gate. You start behind it, you finish in front of it. Straight out of the box, we've got this speed section through here, just to the second gate. This is a nice off camber. Drop down into the mud. You go up and follow the arrow where you'll drop down into our water crossing. You come in through this bunted section here, straight up to this run, over those offset logs and over the mound there at the top following the arrow. Spin it back to the left, try not to hit the posts. You've got to get up onto these logs, shoot it round to the left and you are done. There are two twists on this course. First of all, we're going double points. The second twist is, if anybody gets bogged, gets stuck down in that little drop off section down there, you are going to be recovered by VRS. That'll attract a penalty, but we will stop the clock to do the recovery. Mark, there's the lefty, you're first up, into the gate. We'll see how we go, I'm first up, so I'm, I'm going to be the benchmark. Even though I'm in front, that doesn't mean I'm going to lead from here on. So I'm just going to go as hard as I can, but uh, try and keep clean. I'll certainly wind the window up. Uh, it's going to come over the bonnet for sure. It wasn't a bad performance overall. I wanted to be able to bring the car home in one piece so I could hand it back to Jason, who I borrowed it off. That's right, you're puffed. <laughs> what was it? I was working hard. <laughs> working real hard. Two, one. I wasn't so bad, I got in the mud and got through that reasonably well. I'm in the mud and took a couple of goes but I just powered it and then we got out and we're off to the next one which was the water feature. Like that, look at the smile on his face. <laughs> we got through. <laughs> Car's still running. I'm excited about this one. It looks like a bit more challenging. The water's it's quite deep, <laughs> but what can possibly go wrong? <laughs> Coming into the pond, it was, an, it was hardly a puddle, it was a pond. Getting the nose in, getting the bow wave happening, I'm driving into it and pushing the bow wave along. I managed to drive through it quite well. You know you hit a peg and knocked it completely flat. No! Yes. Where? Just here at the last bit over there on the log. Oh. It doesn't look that bad, but it's definitely a bit tricky to get around the corner. You guys have got stuck in there and I'm going to try and find a better way to get through. Had a bit of good fortune there. The guys who went ahead of me up had a good look and saw what they did and decided to pick a different line and fortunately it paid off. A lot of the logs, very bumpy, but there were some really good open sections. You could really gun it and use the power. Final scores for the day. Wow, nice close competition, guys. With the final win going to Piranha Off-Road. Thanks, guys. A big thank you to the property owner, Chris. Great facility and really grateful for letting us come out here today. And also a big thank you to Troy and James for doing all the work behind the scenes and the like. Big thank you to them. At the end of four interesting and varied stages, I managed to come out with a very narrow win and um, here's to the victory. Huge thank you to the property owners, competitors and event organisers. What a massive success today has been. We'll see you all again next week on Life Off-Road. <laughs>